cannot keep up with this douchebag. I just can't. He makes the video like every two minutes. Because he doesn't call somebody on the phone and handle anything. Everything has to be overly dramatic. And he has to be live up, everybody? to deal with people. Instead of talk to them on the phone. He doesn't want to listen to anybody. He screams over people. Yeah, I watched some of this. So no. he, he's disgusting. You're disgusting. Nobody's going to want you because you're a quitter. You're a quitter. You're not going to do anything in life. And it shows. And you have pro proven that. Blah. <laughs> What a waste. Now, as many of you know... Ugh, you're gonna die one now, day. Especially after a couple weeks ago. I lived in an attic. I helped to found... The world's you first... Helped to found? NASCAR League on Forza Motorsports 7, or through Forza Motorsports 7. I helped to found the world's first eSports NASCAR team. Wow. Ooh. And I gotta admit, it was something that I'm very proud of. You know, something that, you know, I'm proud to say that I helped to build. Oh, God. But seeing as one of the drivers... Whom goes by the name of Devin Marlowe in <laughs> real life, or more so known as Cam Time Racing. Man, here on I hope YouTube. you get your ass kicked for calling I people am out. I am officially announcing my departure from the NASCAR League, and it's going to be effective immediately because. Of Devin Marlowe and dude, Devin, be happy you didn't now, get Devin, this blob sure of shit. I'm sure you're probably watching this. I'm sure you're probably watching this, Devin. So I want you to listen real good, and I want you to listen real close. Oh my god! Because what I'd you did your is ass. fucked up. I come to you and let you know. That as not only your, your teammate, ass. but as your friend that I'm having to take Friday off to help my family out because my son is obviously having surgery. Okay, everybody knows this. But for you to... Think of a lie, come on. But for you to come in and basically tell me basically. to put my career as a driver. Basically, which means he probably didn't say family. that at all. What kind of what kind of teammate are you? What kind of person does that? I mean I come to you and let you know that I have a family emergency and that I'm gonna be able to compete on Friday or Saturday. And what do you do? It's not an emergency. You sit there and you tell me to put my career ahead of my family and to be selfish. Like, it's one thing to do that outside of that. Like, and on the norm, don't get me wrong. On the norm, I would agree. Outside of family, like, if there's a situation outside of family... And you were telling me to, you know, say fuck the haters and put the racing first and be selfish. On the norm, I would agree with you. But when it comes to my family, I'm sorry, but that always comes first. No, it doesn't. You lying my family sack of shit. always comes first. You lying sack of shit. You knew how long ago Which he was Which is why I'm surgery. announcing my Dumbass. departure... From the NASCAR man. League and into a better team. A team that pretty much became a band of brothers to me. 
They should be super I've happy you're gone. I've seen this amount back, no matter what, since day one. <laughs> A team that has Five minutes actually ago. stood by me through every fucking single thing. A team that has been very well established over the course of, I'd say, the last four years. Like, literally, since 2018, this team has been established that I am now with. And... I'm proud to say that I'm part of one of the most well-known teams in the world. In the world. And that team, and that family, and that band of brothers <laughs> is the Envy Drift Mafia. One of the most well-established teams in the Forza franchise. Again, side And one of the most well-rounded teams with some of the best all. drifters in the fucking world. And I'm not just saying that. Like these guys are taking championships back to back to back in the Horizon Four series multiple times. I've watched these guys several times, and they're good. Which is why I'm announcing my official, and I mean my official drop in and my official run with the Envy Drift Mafia. Yay. Now, as far as the NASCAR League and the wow. esports side of things go, I am a free agent. As far nice as like the horizon, as far as like the Motorsport Seven and the F1 2020 series goes, I am a free agent as far as that goes. But when it comes to the NASCAR League, I do want to say to the owner Zach, "Hey, I've seen you." race and um i just have one question are you supposed to drive through the other cars i'm just asking you a question i don't know do you drive through them is that okay to do are you supposed to hit the wall i don't know it seems like you wouldn't you shouldn't but if you're good at what you do then yeah it's okay to do who runs the NASCAR League, the owner, Zachary. I want you to know, man, that I harbor no hate towards you at all. I don't harbor any hate towards you at all. I mean, the guys you have on your team are obvious. He's probably sitting back. <laughs> They're probably all watching this, laughing their asses off. Then they're going, okay, this is done. This is stupid. Like, nobody gives a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They're probably like, woo, we dodged a bullet. Honestly, very good drivers. And Devin, you are a good driver. And you've proven that time and time again, and I'm not taking that from you. At oh all. God. You're one of the best I've seen, ever. Like, you literally know what you're doing. And I'm not saying that you're not a good driver, because you are. You're quick as hell. You're one of the quickest that I've ever seen. Gracefully bowing out? No, he isn't. He's a quitter. He's a quitter. But to Zachary, I do hope he quit that... He before he even started. What a joke. And you understand he didn't why I had to depart from the team. And like I said... I hold no hatred towards you, Zachary, and I do wish you the best of luck. I do wish you the best of luck, Zach, and, you know, I know you'll go on to do good things, man. I know that that team will do really, really well, but honestly, man, if you're going to have a driver like Devin on your team who can't keep his morals in check... Are you kidding me? And who can't stop judging others? Are you kidding me? Then I cannot support your team. What? I can't wow. do it. Because sometimes some things are a little more important than sitting behind the wheel and racing all the time. Some things like family are more important. 
And Devin, I didn't want to have to block you, but after what you said to me earlier this morning, oh my God. after I announced that I wouldn't be able to compete this weekend, like that, that's pretty fucked up. Like, if you were going through a situation, I know you're probably watching this, Devin, so listen up, dude. If you were going through a situation like what I'm going through, I wouldn't tell you to put, you know, race in first. I wouldn't tell you to do that. You should have figured no, that out. I would tell you to shit. take the time you off. Knew for take the months time now. that you fucking need no. to help your family. You're fucking stupid. But instead, you want to sit there and tell me to put my racing career first, dude? I can always pick up on a race. That's not an issue with me. But for you to blatantly tell me to sit there and be selfish and put myself ahead of my family, that ain't happening. Because in case you haven't noticed, Devin, I come from a military background where we always, oh my and God. I mean, always you don't even live put others ahead of ourselves. Your life, like military. Whether no that be clue. friends, family, like? people that need it's our help. Bitch. I always put everyone before myself. Whether it be a friend in need, a family member in need, no matter who it is. I will always put family before myself. I'm not going to sit there and, you know, tell my family to screw up just for a race. No. I can always race another fucking day. 